Good morning, folks. Someone woke the sun up from his nap, and he was utterly furious. We've got earth spot quakes, climate outlook, and another airplane missing in the Indian Ocean. But if I was to start anywhere else, it wouldn't be the morning news, especially this one. Spaceweathernews.com, seeing the last day on our star, eyes to the right side. Bright active region departing our view, the earth facing quiet now without any further influence, and the sunspots held a magnetic field battle above them, and the resulting fireworks were spectacular. Powerful X-ray solar flares, M5 and M7 respectively, both likely made CMEs, but the second one pushed photospheric and chromospheric plasma out into the solar system. The second burst actually had two components to its CME all by itself, the flare burst and then the plasma rope release which is the showstopper there. Here's what the solar flare charts look like. Powerful events. They caused radio blackouts under the sunlit side of Earth, West Pacific, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. Atmosphere is recovering this morning. Plasma was penetrating upon those flaring events as our shield was not able to block at all. Low energy electron flux also showing significant short term surges. Coronagraphs don't have enough data updated to diagnose these CMEs fully, but updates on those will come today at spaceweathernews.com. The Earth facing quiet only let these sunspots off the hook as they've departed, and as the turn continues, flaring will drop off immediately and we'll be back to a blank sun. Solar wind here. No significant events in the last day, but the magnetic character, the blue phi, is shifting, so the faster streams are on their way just taking a sweet old time getting to Earth. Our shield is taking energy but holding for now. The dark coronal holes you see in 211 angstroms are sending out those streams. We're also eyeing the next quake uptick as early as tomorrow, but more likely early into next week. Quick break from quake talk to note the storms in the East Pacific, Hawaii on alert, and it's not shocking to see the largest quake in months in this region as the earth spots run by. That's an earth spot quake. Got some new climate forecasts from the Weather Channel, August and then the next three months combined. Pretty much saying the same thing. Rough end of summer for the east. Folks, many of you know our buddy David from Adapt 2030 channel. As we always want you to be following the cold events taking place globally as well, I have to recommend this channel and specifically for today, his latest video. Do you know what's really threatening our agriculture and economy? We do. We've got another airplane missing over the Indian Ocean, and yes, it's another passenger plane as opposed to a drill, test, practice, or other fighter jet incident. Why here? Why so many planes disappearing here in the last few years? We'll be discussing how Earth's greatest change may be responsible and more in today's podcast, Fly on the Wall. Top lineup for today's show. You can find it under premium. And remember, website membership is just $4 a month or $30 for the whole year. Tomorrow begins the birthday week for our website. Year three coming to a close. We'll be approaching 300 hours by December. And in addition to the Fly on the Wall podcast coming today, we put a deeper look episode out yesterday, episode 59 of the year. We've got the pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.